And he presented a study done in rats, the same model that Dr. Armstrong presented that Ed Bernard first used for inhalational pentamidine and showed that rats given Dapsone with steroids would never develop pneumocystis, whereas when you give rats steroids, they do develop pneumocystis usually within four to eight weeks. It was based on that study that because 60, 50 to 60 percent of people taking Bactrim for prophylaxis get allergic reactions or f either fever or severe skin rashes and can't take it, that we sort of slithered into using Dapsone more and more at St. Luke's Roosevelt. I think it is fair to say, and Dr. Matroka in my institution presented this actually as an abstract in, um, at the International AIDS meeting in June this last June, that we have treated more than 200 cases of people who had had pneumocystis or other true AIDS conditions with prophylactic Dapsone. It's tolerated very well. The problem is that a few people cannot tolerate it because they become very anemic. Uh, skin rashes are exceedingly rare and fever reactions are very rare, but we've seen one or two. We have only seen one patient on Dapsone develop a second episode of pneumocystis. Whereas before we used prophylaxis, which was the case I think generally around the country until 1985, the relapse rate of second and third cases was somewhere in the 30 to 40 percent vicinity. So I do not think that Dapsone should be compared to a placebo at this stage. On the other hand, I have no idea whether Dapsone is safer or better than inhalational pentamidine. And what I really think we need is a study comparing those two methodologies or those two treatment methods. Uh, you know, uh, if we're going to do that sort of study, and I think it's a wise study to do, I think we should add uh, another arm, and that's Fancidar, or the combination of sulfapyrimethamine, uh, because that might have the added effect of preventing toxoplasmosis. And uh, that would be a great benefit. It's very frustrating to have to stop when there are so many more questions, but we've obviously gone on a long time, and we'd like to say thank you to the audience and thank you to the panel.